Hi everybody and welcome to Language Arts Work Packet. So today you are going to be reading the story Storm Chasers and then we'll be completing the questions. Um, in my next video I will be going over the R Controlled Vowels page and the commas for introductory phases, phrases, so make sure you look for that video as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin with Storm Chasers. What is it like to fly into the middle of a hurricane? Chad Gibson isn't afraid of hurricanes. In fact, he flies straight into them. Hurricanes are strong storms that form over oceans. Their winds can blow more than 155 miles per hour. Gibson is a part of the hurricane hunters. Their job is to fly airplanes into storms. Hurricane hunters are a part of the U.S. Air Force Reserve. They help scientists predict or guess where the storms are headed. So right here this word predict, it tells me the meaning of that word if I look right here. That's called um, excuse me, that's called a context clue. So it's a direct context clue because it's giving me what that word means right here, where the storms are headed. So they help predict or guess where storms are headed. In, in years past, the flyers have zipped through several spinners, including Hurricane Jimena. That storm hit Mexico in September 2009. By the way, right here where you see this, this is a pronunciation, so if you're not sure how to pronounce that, you can sound it out. He, me, na. And then you put it all together. He, me, na. Flying through a storm is almost like being surrounded by a giant wall of clouds, Gibson says. There are times when you can't really see anything else. Hurricane hunters fly through storms for more than just the view. They use tools to study the hurricane's temperature and wind speeds. Those details can help determine how big a storm is and whether it will become stronger. Gibson and his team send the data to meteorologists on land. Those are scientists who study weather. So once again, we have another context clue right here. So we have the word meteorologists. Then in the following sentence, it tells me what is a meteorologist? Well, a meteorologist is someone, is a scientist who studies weather. They figure out how the storms will affect the United States. The data we collect helps save thousands of lives. Gibson told WR News, and that isn't the only plus, he says. Going into the center of the storm is just incredible. Spin cycle. Mother Nature knows how to whip up a perfect storm. It takes just the right amount of warm water and wind. Here is how a hurricane happens. So if you'll notice, there's different steps here. We have step one. Warm ocean water evaporates or turns the water to droplets in the air. So once again, we have a word and we have the direct definition right behind it. So evaporate means to turn from liquid into droplets in the air. The warm air rises, leaving less air near the water. Step two, nearby air pushes into that space. The new air heats up. It rises too. Step three. As the air rises, it starts to cool. Water in the air forms clouds. Step four. Winds make the clouds spin. The clouds get bigger as more warm air rises. Step five. The clouds spin more quickly. An eye forms in the center. That's the calmest part of a hurricane. You can see your diagram right there. All right, let's take a look at our questions. Question number one. What information 
do the hurricane hunters collect as they fly through hurricanes? So what are they doing up there? Well, let's go back to the story. I believe it tells us exactly what they're doing. So let's look. We've got hurricane hunters. They help predict or guess. But what are they looking for? Oh, let's look at this paragraph. They use tools to study the temperature and wind speed. So let's see if that's one of our... Let's see, what are they collecting? Hurricane hunters collect information about Hurricane Jimena, which they did, but is that all they do? Just that one hurricane? No. Hurricane hunters collect information about the eye of the storm. I remember the eye is the calmest part, so probably not. Oh, this one right here, this looks perfect. Hurricane hunters collect information about temperature and wind speed. Temperature and wind speed. That's perfect. That is the correct answer, C. Number two. Which of the following does the author describe last in the text? So what is the last thing that the author describes? Is it about hurric how hurricanes happen? The work of the hurricane hunters? how to fly into a hurricane safely, or the data that Chad Gibson collects. Well, let's see, last, that would be this section right here. So what's the main idea or the biggest thing that this section is talking about? It's talking about how a hurricane happens. So let's go back and find that one. That would be A. Number three, storm chasers have a very important job. What evidence supports that conclusion? So how do we know that they have a very important job? Is it because they help scientists predict or guess where the storms are headed? Well, that would be pretty important. Mother Nature knows how to whip up the perfect storm. Well, is that going to tell me that they have that a storm chaser has a very important job, or is Mother Nature have a very important job? Gibson is part of the hurricane hunters. Their job is to fly airplanes into storms. Well, that's pretty important, but this doesn't tell me why. Hurricane hunters fly through the storms for just for more than just the view. Same thing like the last one. It doesn't really tell me why. So why is this hurricane hunter so important? Well, a hurricane hunter is important because... He can tell us where those storms are going or take an educated guess of where that hurricane might be going so that people can prepare to get out of the way. Okay, question number four. What does the text imply? So imply means to lead you to the conclusion. So what conclusion can you come to? Okay, do you think that Chad Gibson loves the thrill of his job as a hurricane hunter? Being a hurricane hunter is easy. Chad Gibson will stop being a hurricane hunter sometime soon. Or the hurricane hunters do not like hurricanes that are too large. So what can you imply about Chad Gibson? I think A is probably a pretty good choice. He loves the thrill. He loves the thrill. Okay. And our last question, what would be another good title for this text? So our text title right here is Storm Chasers. Um, what is it like to fly into the middle of a hurricane? So what would be another good title in your opinion? Hurricanes, a special kind of storm. What you need to know about hurricanes, flying into hurricanes, or how to be a hurricane hunter. So keep in mind, usually titles almost state the main idea of the text. So what is this text mostly about? Is it mostly about hurricanes and how they're a different kind of storm? Well, they talk about that a little bit at the end, but they really don't go into what a hurricane is and how they're different from other storms. So that would not be a good choice. What you need to know about hurricanes. Do they tell us anything about an actual hurricane, like how to survive one if a hurricane were to hit? Um, does it give you any tips? No. Flying into hurricanes. Maybe. 
maybe. I'm not going to cross that one off. How to be a hurricane hunter. Do they really tell us how that you could become a hurricane hunter? A little bit, but they say that's part of the U.S. Air Force Reserve. Um, but other than that, it really doesn't talk about how to become a hurricane hunter. So that's not it. So that leaves C, flying into hurricanes. That's all. Make sure you have answered all the questions. And don't forget to put your name somewhere on your packet. Thanks. Bye.